Hey guys, Treetop Piper here. Just kind of wanted to show a few pipes that I picked up in the last week. This being one of them. Housekeeping. Smoking a little of the Zants. Out of my new K. Woody Rock Ambura Aged Briar. This actually is a, a pipe uh, that was made for a very, this particular one was made between 1939 and 1931 because all the markings, they only did all these markings for a period of two years. Mm. And it's got their Bakelite stem. They referred to it as Rock Ambura, but it's a Bakelite stem. And, uh, really old school pipe still in great shape this is their original drinkless stinger huge freaking stinger ball great pipe though it weighs next to nothing has some of the prettiest grain i've ever seen on a pipe um really it has bird's eye and i love the paneled look to it i want to see if i can't get some kind of a light here i wish i had a bit you can really see some of this beautiful it has some just some amazing bird's eye on this side if you guys can see that and I just love the paneled look and this is a KBB K Woody from the from the 20s and it just has gorgeous grain the shank it's a sitter it, it's got a flat you know flat bottom that sits and it's just got this great panel design. Mm. I smoked some skiff mixture out of it yesterday that just about blew my mind. And that's why I decided to try some Penzance in it today. Because it just seems to smoke these Balkans just to the bad to the bone. <clears throat> But yeah, it is a, uh, a KBB. God dang it, I wish you guys could see it. It's not quite, I don't have good lighting in here yet. But it's, uh, it says KBB, K Woody. God dang it, I'm sorry guys. And it has the patent applied for on the bottom. They only did that for a couple of years. And the and the original Rock Ambera stem is in great shape, actually. And this is aged briar, so, you know, they let it dry properly. This And the damn thing is almost 100 years old. And it's still in great shape. Just a nice little smoker. And then... Uh, I picked up another K. Woody from that era, from the 30s. And this one, I swear it looks like it was only smoked maybe 10 times. And this one is a K. Woody standard. I got it for 15 bucks has a little bowl but it's just a nice little dubbin shape and uh, it's just about light as all heck just a nice little outdoor pipe I think something you know to take with you fishing or something you know outdoorsy you can clench it real easy it's got the saddle bit I mean this they quit making them like this in World War two so it's close to 100 years old as well and as somebody it, it wasn't beaten up and it wasn't overused it's very uh gently used I, I swear it looks like it was only smoked out of maybe 10 times if that really great shape it's a four hole stinger and it says drinkless just like my k woody meerschaum and also it has the, uh, the the clover on on the top of the stem all, all of these have the clover on the top of the stem because that's 
they put it on top of the stem up until world the end of World War II, and then they put it on the side of the stem. So all these are from before uh, the end of World War II. This one is from 29 to 31. And this one is also, I um, has, has it on the top of the stem, but it doesn't have a stinger. And I don't know, I just don't know if this is a, uh, what era this is from. Meerschaum lined. Mm. I just love this panel. It's not your, like your typical panel either. It's just got all kinds of angles to it. Holds really nice in your hand. Just a nice little pipe. I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. Hmm. Another thing that I figured out, um, you guys know about my Dunhill acquisition. Well, a few months ago I bought a Parker and it just so happens to be a matching, they're a matching set pipe. They both have the same finish, both sandblast. This one's a group two, this one's a group four. This one's a Prince, billiard. And they have the same finish. Only, and they are almost the exact same on the bottom, except one says Parker Super Bark Briar, or Super Briar Bark. And this one says Dunhill. But I just thought that was really cool that I kind of had a match set. Even though Parker's, they're not Dunhills per se, but they shared shapes and they shared factories. And I mean, there's some sort of a connection between the two companies. So I just thought it was pretty cool to have a match set like that. Yeah, and of course, you guys know my other Parker, which is a great little chucher. Great little chucher. Picked up a, another four hole stinger pipe, uh, K. Woody. But this one isn't in that great a condition. I'm going to have to. Uh, it's also a standard like this one, but it's a newer, it has the clover on the side. And I need to go through and, and restore it because it's it's pretty beat up. And I think back then a lot of guys used knives to clean their bowls out. And it really beat up the, the, the bowls a lot of times. Like this one has some damage. The rim of the bowl is damaged because somebody used a knife to, to, uh, to clean it. And they damage the rim of the bowl when they do that. And uh, it's a damn shame, you know, to do that to a pipe. Although back then, I think pipes, you know, they didn't really, guys smoked and they were, some a lot of stuff was, you know, it was disposable. They didn't, they weren't really too, too worried about it, I guess. It's not like nowadays. Nobody knew that Dunhills were going to be worth all that much money, you know. Um, they were just pipes that you smoked tobacco out of. But man, this freaking K. Woody drinkless here, just a great smoker. Mm. Yesterday with that skiff mixture, just hit the spot. It just hit the spot. Mm. Man, and... uh was able to hook a guy up here uh, his girlfriend was looking for a Christmas gift and I sold her uh, a tin of Penzance because her guy needs had really wanted to try some Penzance and sh and uh, he, he you know wasn't able to get it so I sold her some Penzance and I threw in some extras and uh, little did I know 
uh, that, that I would end up, you know, seeing a picture of this Christmas gift pop up on a forum. But I'm glad, uh, you know, it was a woman that was buying these things. I was thinking, geez, you know, this has got to be a Christmas gift. So I asked her if it was. She said, yeah, this is a Christmas gift for my boyfriend. I said, really? Okay, well, let me throw in a couple extras. Her boyfriend was really, really happy about it. Very satisfying. Very satisfying to get to help somebody uh, please their their significant other, you know, who's a pipe tobacco enthusiast. It was really nice. It was really, really satisfying that I could that I could throw in some samples there and really make that guy's Christmas something special. Which they swapped Christmas gifts a little early, so which I don't care. It was just I, th I just thought it was awesome to have a girl that gave a shit. Lucky him. That's a lucky guy. Happy for him. I hope he enjoys his tobacco. Mm. Man, like I said, this K. Woody just smokes great. Super light. Really great grain on it. Amazing. I mean, if I just spent a few minutes on this pipe, from what Berg tells me, that this could be really just a, just a gorgeous pipe. It already is. I mean, the bird's eye on one side is just amazing. Um, and there's just all types of different colored grains on here. Or different style grains on it, and it's just a beautiful smoker. Really is, really is enjoyable. And it's not a huge pipe, but it's got a decent sized bowl on it, and it just smokes good. It doesn't, uh, I don't get a lot of stuff in my mouth. It doesn't gurgle. And it's actually aged briar, so, you know, this is really a really high-end pipe that uh, KBB or K. Woody made back then. Really is. Really high-end pipes. Really nice pipes. And I really like how this is all original. All original, baby. As I said, the bowl, the rim isn't perfect. I mean, it doesn't have any rim darkening, but... Somebody damaged the uh, the the edge of the rim. It's a little the wall of the rim is a little thinner down here where they had scraped with a knife, I think. Um, <clears throat> which is it's that's a shame, but it's still a great pipe. Man, and I haven't had Penzance in weeks, and this is just hitting the spot. Anyway, guys, Tree Top Piper, just coming out, just popping in and showing some new pipes that I've got a hold of, some, some good deals that I saw, and uh, hope you guys have, have had a good holiday season, hope you continue to have a good holiday season, and uh, I've got a few things coming down the pikes, a few videos that I think you guys will be interested to see, probably either tomorrow or the next day I'll be putting them, posting them up, so... Until next time, guys, Treetop Piper over and out.